What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I put the old headphones on. We're gonna do this two separate times, two different reactions in the same video. Once with these, once with the new ones. I can't get the sound right and it's bugging me. Like I get it doesn't come with a driver so that you can change the levels. So I'm having to do it off of just the the, the sound mixer and as far as the EQ goes like I'm, I'm not getting I'm not getting the depth of the drums and bass that I want because when I do when I get that then the depth of the guitar sounds muddy and distorted the rhythm guitar so it's supposed to be deep and chuggy okay so when I get the clarity and the high that I want the treble of his voice is too high so I don't know what's up with these headphones. Obviously, these are headphones that are that are not meant for your consumer. I'm saying that because you have to have software that can amplify and bring out this. Yes, they can bring out more sound, but you have to have separate software to be able to tweak it so the consumer can listen to it. Because as such, I, as like I'm not able to listen to it the way they come, and I can't get the settings right on my EQ, just the default one. So, someone please send help. But, for the sake of it, we're gonna do two reactions because, you know, Spine Farm blocked the first one with the music in it. And I've heard the song a bajillion times by now trying to get the sound right. But here we go. You hear the keyboards, you hear this really distorted, like, beefy guitar and then it all comes together you've got your dual guitars kind of like a, a fast breakdown effect happening now let me pause and say this when I first heard this song, it took me aback. I was like, wait a minute, because it was bullety. <clears throat> but it it's not it's not so far from the bullet path that it's like, whoa, but it, it does kind of make you go like, hmm, you know what I mean? I, I, I listened to the interview on Radio 1, and I, I wish they would have brought out the more experimental stuff first instead of this, because this just makes me confused. Let me just say that. But the bass comes through so nice. I don't know who recorded the bass, but it sounds amazing. I love the bass. Now we're in the bridge. You have your dual guitars. It's just, it's, he was right in saying that it's not technical bullet, but he prepared us, okay? He lubed us up for that one because it's not traditional technical bullet. It's very, but it, he was right. It does have a lot of weight behind it. <sighs> the only thing I have to say so far is with his vocals, There needs to be more of a contrast between the verse, the bridge, and the chorus. He's kind of just going for it the whole song. Um, like even now, he's in an octave, a couple of octaves too high for me. Like when he said that so over it, he could have done it like deeper, like growled it kind of, you know. But he's just, he's, he's so high. Be 
because live this is gonna be so hard for him this chorus okay so and on that part when he's like I wish he would have drawn out when he's like I can't take this anymore I wish we'd have brought it like up and out and like just really extend it and just go higher with it but like he can't because he's already almost at the top end well he's not because on truth hurts we heard him go like really high but it was like a falsetto he's gonna have a hard time with this live I wanted <sighs> nice breakdown moment. All right, so that was round one. With these motherfuckers, like I said, there was just there was just a couple of of things that I would have done differently. For instance, I wouldn't have had him of uh, that high, like that high up in his register for the whole song. It needed some contrast. It needed. I think maybe that's why some people felt like it was more pop was because of that. But if he had just tweaked that just a little bit, like. B bullet please for the love of god would you please just bring me into the to the studio i could help you so much like i'm not saying i know more than you but it's just little things like that that as a fan not that you care what i have to say anyways because you guys have said multiple times before you do what you want to do and i'm i'm so i'm so there with you but like t two or three little tweaks and this just could have been so much better for the fans. Just could have been so much better. So let's plug in these motherfuckers that everyone bitched about. Um, and I, like I said, the, the equal, I, I can't get the sound right with these. I tried all three chords. This one seemed to have the best sound. The, this one, if it's the wrong one. Where's my audio engineers at, bro? Because I'm telling you shit ain't flying so now I gotta re-enable um oh, fuck. fuck off Cortana alright now I gotta re-enable my environment and my equalizer settings alright Let's do this. It's just too staticky. It's just too mid. But without my in, without my my settings, it's just wrong too. But for the sake of it, let's just do no equalizer. It's so wrong. It's so wrong. No, no, no. It's so wrong. No. It's just it's too like I no, I have to. I have to turn my EQ settings back on. But like you hear the keyboard more, and you hear certain elements more, but then others just sound muddy. It sounds more vibrant, like sonically, but then everything else when you dissect it just sounds muddy. <sighs> I wish you would have put more emotion to that. The song, the sound is so wrong. Oh, 
I don't like these headphones. I will say this about vocals, listening to him with these, I can hear the contrast now, whereas before I couldn't. It's very, very, very hard to notice. Even I didn't catch it, but, but, but with these, it lacks emotions. It's like just kind of. Yeah. Okay. So I can hear the contrast now, but. He's going he's still going to have trouble with this live And I, I know the sound is wrong. I know the sound is wrong with these. I'm so over these headphones. Like it just bugs me because it's wrong. I'm over it too, Matt. I'm I'm over it too. I'm over it. Yes, they're comfortable. Yes, they're awesome. I can see why they would be monitor headphones or studio headphones, but for the consumer who is meant to get a certain mix. I, I don't like these. I don't, I'm, I'm, I can't figure out how to get the sound that I want with just the, the OEM software that I have. So, for all my engineers out there, where the fuck are you guys at? Because I could really use some help right now. I don't, I don't know what the settings should be at. We go from like 35 to 16K. So, and then everything in between. Okay. Rant over. 